We are live at Lime Rock in the Mazda MX-5 series. I'm start 24th in car number 17. This being the black car with the red crown wheel. Haven't really practiced that much here this week. Did run a race earlier, but uh, it just, uh, here we are at the start. And you can see the one of them off the side there already. Fell back to next to last year. I'm just kind of letting them shake out in front of me because there are quite a few dummies in here. This is a long race, so. Well, I say it's a long race, it's 25 minutes. We'll speed up through some of it here in a minute, but I want you to get an idea of what it looked like at the start. How you can make up some positions uh, just by hanging out, letting them shake it out. I was going to put on here so you could hear the guys talking, but they cuss so much that I, I didn't want to make anybody mad listening to that. I do any better sometimes than I try to. Try. Here we come down the long front straight away into turn one. There's a car coming out of the pit and rejoin the field, and there's a wreck right in front of us. You notice I just moved out. I let old Speedy there run up under me because he probably won't make three corners and he'll be behind me again. I was going to let the white car and the new car behind me go. We got so much traffic up here, I've just decided I'm going to race whoever now. See, I picked up a couple of spots there. Last corner. I did pretty good to it the last corner. Kind of let it roll through there and get back on the gas coming off. Uh, you're running some 100 mile an hour when you get there. And when you come off, you're running about 20. It's an interesting curve. Come back up the hill. And as you come over that rise right there, you'll see a lot of guys leave the ground. Breaking through the S corner here again. There goes one to the outside wall. And he does as he come around that corner there, got off that rumble strip and his tires got on the grass and around he went. Another spot down the straightaway here, back into turn one. Picking up spots quite steadily now. Shaking out a little bit. We've got quite a bit of space in front of us here to the next car, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick us up a lap or two since it's about a 20 lap race. away from the field and we're starting to run down some of the leaders now. Speed it up a little bit because they're still further out than I thought they were. 
little fast forward here. If you can hear me breaking down into the corner there, I was also gearing down. As the race progressed, I really got to where I liked that S corner. I got caught. Got caught in the uh, left rear corner there as a guy, guy spun out and tried to come back up on the track in, in front of me and hit me in the, hit me in the corner. And that, uh, that probably took us out of the run for the lead. However, uh, we didn't really lose the spot, so that's good news. Doesn't look like we got a lot of damage, we just got pushed off course. So. We'll gather back up here and continue on. Hopefully you can hear me today. I've been having problems with the microphone in the last few uh, videos we've made, so hopefully we got that straight back out. We'll know here for a while. We have a pretty good race here for about the seventh, uh, seventh position. hang of that uh, chicane down there with that little left corner in it. that just for this race, that's not usually part of the track. Back into turn one. There's one off the course behind us. It's easy to get out there get your wheels off in the grass and lose all that time and you can see he lost quite a bit of time. This young man that's behind me now, he's uh, he's rolling on here. Uh, when he starts to close in though, man, it helps me because I pick my times up uh, to keep him behind me. That, that helped me get back in rhythm. You'll see him rolling here. When it was over, he told me that uh, he picked his lap times up tenfold just by following me. So I guess we both learned something. Back down the front stretch into turn one. This is where we got wide. Brake, get the car pointed inward, and just let it roll to about right there, and then you just get back at it slowly, like an eggshell. You'll notice I sweep out wide. To take the corner, it helps you get a good angle on them. Save them tires. You uh, listen to me talk about racing before, I'm all about saving them tires. to turn one again. As you can see, I'm hanging number one tighter than most of them. Most of them swinging out way too wide there. You can get down in close and just let it roll. You'll make a little better time. And in these other corners, you'll see me step out wide. And it just depends on the corner and how your car handles and what it's set up to do. see a car behind me there, he come over that hill and his tires up the ground, that's why he made that little zigzag, he's trying to catch it, but he's pouring it on now because he wants my spot, that's what I was telling you about him closing in, and uh, 
you'll see me uh, I don't watch the mirror much but I'll see him here in a minute and I'll start I'll start picking my lap time back up I done got bored so far behind the leader that little off track excursion we took a while ago cost us quite a bit of time Watch, you'll start mirroring everything I do back there as much as you possibly can. Back up to you. You did a little better that time coming over the time. Back into the S corner, the chicane. And then we'll come back down to the last corner, back down the front straight away here. This is a big sweeper. somebody to race, I'd just be honest with you. Equal the distance on him now. Got it back up to speed. Quite tightly here. I'm mean, idiot. Cap you are capable of blowing a motor here if you overwind it. As you can hear them, they're really, little four cylinders really wound tight. Come out of that corner sideways. He's really, really digging, trying to catch me now. But I'm just trying to be smooth and get my mark. Being smooth, uh, a lot quicker than digging. You notice he's running it off in there so hard he's washing out with him, and every time he does that, I make a little ground on him. heard me say it before, I love them red chrome wheels, I'm a chromosexual. John Player cigarette car right here for a number of years in this series. I like the black and gold paint. Spread out here and see some more. And uh, 
boy chasing me back there. This is the last lap coming around here and uh, I believe he blows the motor up, overwound it back there. This looks like he's about a way off. Yeah, he killed him. So here we come down to the last corner. Big sweeping right-hander down the front straight away to uh, the finish. bring us home this time in fifth place so we've got a top five finish here at Lime Rock in the Mazda series we hope you enjoyed the race today with Burwood Motorsports and uh, hopefully you will come back and see us